Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. We are looking live at smoky skies over the Jarbo Gap as the Dixie Fire still burns. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff is tracking conditions around this fire and all across our area. Jason, what are we looking at going into the weekend here? Yeah, we still have a lot of heat. The wind, thankfully, is not going to be very strong, but you saw from that live camera, it's very smoky outside for the ridge, much of eastern Butte County, but it's also been very smoky for Shasta and Tehama counties, too. We have a lot of heat as well, but with all the clouds, and showers and storms over parts of western Siskiyou County as well as Trinity County. These excessive heat warnings and heat advisories will go away fairly quickly. They last through tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually get canceled a little bit early because we have had a lot of active weather over western Siskiyou County and Trinity County. Right now it is hot in the valley though. 104 degrees in Redding after a high today of 105. It was 104 right now in Red Bluff. 102 degrees in Chico and Oroville. 89 degrees with plenty of smoke over Chester. Paradise still a smoky and hot 95 degrees. The wind is not very strong. It's actually weaker than it was an hour ago. Everyone at or below 12 miles an hour, which is really good to see. But we don't want to see as the thunderstorm activity. We would love lots of widespread rain. We're not going to get that, but it has been active for Trinity County. We had one thunderstorm that was over Hayfork, another one that was over Weaverville. That has already pushed past Trinity Alps and Trinity Lake, and it's moving quickly into western Siskiyou County. We also have some active weather over western parts of uh, of the Modoc County area and pushing right over Alturas. A lot of what you see here isn't hitting the ground. Some light amounts of rain are possible. It's just not going to be very widespread and it certainly won't be long lasting. So tonight, once the sun goes down, we're going to lose the energy for those thunderstorms. We'll still have some residual cloud cover by early tomorrow morning. We're not done with the chances for some mountain storms, but however, they will be a little bit less widespread, more isolated for our northern and eastern counties for Siskiyou County, as well as Modoc, last, and then to a lesser extent, Plumas County. I still think it's possible a little bit north of Portola, but we're going to have a little bit less active weather on Saturday, then more activity on Sunday. Look at all those thunderstorms blowing up again north of Susanville, a good portion of Lassen County, Modoc County, a little bit north of Altura, some more thunderstorm activity. But again, you'll notice the valley devoid of any wet weather. We're going to have some hazy sky above us. We'll have plenty of heat, but it'll be more seasonable heat going forward. Not quite as hot this weekend. And then this trough of low pressure that I've been tracking all week. That's going to be our friend pushing on shore. It's moisture starved, so no good chances for any rain. Could have some breezes by next Wednesday and Thursday, but it'll certainly be more seasonable for us. And have, instead of having highs between 105 and 110, it'll be mainly mid to upper 90s and lower 100s. Here's your forecast for Saturday, the last day of July tomorrow. Hard to believe. 100 degrees for a high in Hayfork, 98 in Weaverville, a slight chance for thunderstorms, but not as likely as they were today. For northeastern California, also plenty of smoke in the air still. Isolated thunderstorms, but also not as likely as they've been in the last couple days. They'll actually be a little bit more likely Sunday afternoon. A high of 90 in Quincy, 88 degrees for Alturas, and 87 degrees for Chester. For the ridge, it's still going to be smoky tonight and smoky tomorrow. Lows not falling very far, mainly in the 70s, highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s. A little bit cooler than it was today, but still air quality is not going to be very good. For the valley, it will also have more haze and smoke for Shasta and Tehama counties. Lows in the lower 70s, a little bit cooler than it was this morning. Highs also cooler, seasonable, 100 to 102 degrees for Saturday, a little bit cooler than that on Sunday. And the Chico area, lows under a hazy sky will be in the upper 60s and lower 70s, with highs in the upper 90s and lower 100s for the last day of July. How about the first six days of August? They're looking pretty consistent for Chico. A mostly sunny sky, temperatures in the mid 90s on average, with lows slow cooling down and for Reading right around 100 degrees on average from tomorrow through next Friday with no good chances for rain. Thanks, Jason.